So I'm going to show you a quick tip that you can use sometimes when you are surfing the web uh, to try to make the web a little bit simpler and a little easier to read or digest. So what I can do here is I'm on CNN.com, but this could be a whole variety of different websites. And if I find a story that I'm interested in, so maybe um, I want to hear this story about Mars and I click on the story. It opens up and there are ads, there are pop-ups, there might be videos. You get all kinds of other stuff that is available on this page, which can be distracting. So what I can do is if I go up here where I have these two A's, a small and a large A, and I click on that, um, a lot of websites offer what they call reader view. Now this only works in Safari on the iPad. Um, but if I go to show reader view, uh, it will take that website and it strips off all of the stuff except for the article, maybe some pictures or videos, but all of that extraneous stuff uh, gets taken away to make this much, much simpler. Um, now, it doesn't work on every single website. Websites have to be formatted in a specific way for this to work. And it's up to the company who is publishing those websites on whether they want to provide that or not. But if they do, I have a much simpler view of this article. So now that I have this nice, clean article, uh, I need to decide what to do with it. And what I can do here is if I click my share arrow, uh, I can now share this to a variety of apps. I could send it into a note. I could throw it into my Google Drive. I can mail it to somebody. Um, but one of my favorite options is an option here for books. Books is actually a great PDF viewer to be able to view PDF files and you can bookmark them, you can write on them, uh, highlight things, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So I have an article here and I'm going to go ahead and hit share and tell it to share to the books app. And what this is going to do is it's going to take my article, it's going to create a PDF of it, and then it generates it throws it right into the books app. And from here, I can actually open it up and swipe page by page to see every single page of that article. Now you'll notice my background is black. That's just for easy viewing. If I tap on my article, um, it goes back to a simple white document. I can again, swipe from page to page. I can pinch and zoom to get in nice and close if I need to. So up here at the top, I have a markup tools. Um, I have all my tools down here at the bottom. I could go ahead and tap on my highlighter tool and I could simply highlight some text in here if I want to. Um, I have a letter A button here where I can adjust the brightness of my image. I can control vertical scrolling, which means it would simply scroll from page to page instead of swipe from page to page, just a matter of preference. Um, I have a magnifying glass, which again zooms in and out or I can actually bookmark pages. So maybe uh, this is a long PDF and I'm on page two, I can go up here and just bookmark that and that will save uh, that PDF. Now, when I'm done, I can go back out. That, uh, that document sits here in my library. I can jump back into it at any point and it'll actually take me right to the last bookmarked spot uh, of wherever I was. So that's a simple way to create PDFs from a website and throw them right into the Books app uh, to make them easier uh, to read.